Hi, welcome to my video, part two, on solving quadratic inequalities. Now, quadratic inequalities are also done in Algebra 2 underneath the topic of quadratics, but the ones I'm doing here is a little bit more challenging. It needs more math skills. Let's do number one. I want to solve this inequality, inequality because it's less than or equal to. So we'll multiply x by 2x minus 1. That gives us 2x squared minus x. Multiply negative 6 by x plus 2. It gives us negative 6x minus 12. And we'll multiply a half x by 2x to get x squared. A half times 2 is 1. x times x, x squared. Half of 12 is negative 6 and we have an x. Notice we have a quadratic so I'll move all uh, terms to the left side so 2x squared move the x to the left to make a negative x squared minus 6x minus, minus x minus 6x plus 6x minus 12 less than or equal to 0. And notice I have it equal to 0 because we have a quadratic. 2x squared subtract x squared is x squared. And negative 6 plus 6 is 0. So we have a negative x. Minus 12 is less than or equal to 0. And a quadratic is factorable. Not all the time, but let's just check to see if it is. x squared is x times x. Uh, what I should say is not factorable, but I mean factorable over the integers. If we, if, if we can't factor these, we have to use the quadratic formula. And the factors of 12 are 1 times 12, 2 times 6, 3 times 4. But which factors give me a 1? Looks like a 3 and a 4. And it's a negative 12, so it has to be a positive and a negative, so it's a positive 3 and a negative 4. And we have, if we have this, we have x plus 3 is equal to 0, or x minus 4 equals 0. So x is negative 3, or x is 4. So if we draw a number line, and we put x is negative 3, and x is 4 on the number line, what we have is we have a less than equal to less than the less than means we're looking for the negatives on the product so let's try a five number between negative three and four let's try a zero and on the other side we have negative four if we put a five in here we get a positive if we put a five right here we get a positive, and a positive times a positive gives us a positive. Now I'm going to sub zero in. I, I'm not looking for the number, I'm just looking for the signs. Zero in here gives me a plus. Zero here gives me a minus. Positive times a negative is a negative. Now I'm going to put a negative four in. A negative four gives me a negative one, which is a negative. A negative four here gives me a negative. A negative times a negative is a positive. So no, we're looking for the negative. So we're looking for this one. So we have less than equal to. So that means we have it equal to negative three, equal to four. And because it's a negative, all the numbers between negative three and four will make this inequality true. So that means the answer is negative three is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 4. And normally, if it's not said, this is over the, the set of real numbers. And another way to name that, because it's equal to negative 3, is a square bracket, negative 3, comma, square bracket, 4. Because they're equal to both of these, they're square brackets. So, that's one inequality done that turns out to be a quadratic that we have to solve. And I'm solving it by using the number line. Now, another one that's very similar, but we have fractions, and we have the inequality of greater than, 
And, well, because we have fractions, we have an LCD. So the LCD, I have an, I need an X plus 4. And I need a 3X. So this 3 is already in the 3X. So the LCD is 3X times X plus 4. We also had to be careful of that X plus 4 equals 0. X equals negative 4. We can't have a negative 4 because it makes the denominator 0. If 3x equals 0, divide by 3x is 0. So we cannot have x cannot be negative 4, x cannot be 0 because it makes the denominator of the fraction 0 and division by 0 is undefined. So we got to be careful of the negative 4 and the 0. These are extraneous uh, roots of the inequality order the values that make the denominator zero. Now, because I have fractions, I'm going to multiply each side by the LCD, but rather than multiply each side, I'm multiplying each part of the inequality. 3x times x plus 4, and we have 3x times x plus 4. So I multiply the LCD by each part. If when I do that, the denominators will cancel. So I cancel the threes, so I have an x times x plus four. The x plus fours cancel, and I have a negative one times three x greater than the three x's cancel, and I have one times x plus four. Now I'll multiply these out. We do the multiplication, x squared plus four x, negative three x, greater than x plus 4. And again, we have a quadratic, so we'll move all terms to the left side, make it equal to 0. I could have added these first, but I just bought the x over. And so that's 4x, negative 3, negative 1. They had to give me 0, so I have x squared minus 4 is greater than 0. Again, as a quadratic, factorable, x squared is x and x, negative 4. So this is the difference of two squares. That's an x squared. Subtract two squared. So it's the difference of two squares, which are uh, x, 2, x and 2, with a plus and a minus. So we multiply that by 4, we get this binomial. So that means x plus 2 equals 0. So x equals negative 2. And we have x minus 2 equals 0. x is 2. So on the number line, if we I draw the number line, I have a negative 2 and I have a 2. But I also got to be careful of x is negative 4 and x is 0. So we're not allowed to have the negative 4, so hollow dot. We're not allowed to have a 0, so it's a hollow dot. Also, the negative 2 and 2, is this is greater than but not equal to. So these are hollow, which means these integers are not included. So what I have to do now is start here and say this is a 3. In between 0 and 2 is a 1. In between 0 and negative 2 is negative 1. In between negative 4 and negative 2 is a negative 3. And to the left, I will take the first number, integer, of a negative 5. Now I'm going to plug each one of these into here, into this inequality, and notice we have a greater than and a greater than. We're looking for the positives. So let's put 3 into this inequality. 3 in here makes it positive. 3 in right here, this binomial, makes it positive. So that's a positive. Now I'm going to put 1 in. Put a 1 here, is positive. Put a 1 here, it's negative. So the product is negative. Put a negative 1 in. Negative 1 in this one gives me a plus. Negative 1 gives me a minus, so that's a minus product. Negative 3 right here gives me a negative. Negative 3 here gives me a negative. Negative times a negative is a positive. And negative 5. Put a negative 5 here, we have a negative. Negative 5 here, we have a negative. So 
that's a positive. So we're looking greater than is the positive. So we're picking up this one. So it's not two, but to the right. All the and it's right here between negative four and negative two, because that's positive. And to the left of negative four, this one. So these are all the positive. So if we start here and write this one down, this one means we have x is less than negative 4, is not equal to. And right here we have, in between here we have negative 4 less than x less than negative 2. There's no equal signs because there's hollow dots. And right here we have x is greater than 2. So this is an OR. These are all the values. The values greater than 2, the values between negative 4 and negative 2, and the values less than uh, negative 4. And to write these answers in, in the notation uh, is negative 4 going to negative infinity, or we have negative 4 going to negative 2, Notice these are open brackets. There's no square brackets because there's no equals. And this one is open at 2 going to infinity. So there's two ways you can name the answers. You can do them like this or like this. So that's uh, solving some inequalities which end up to be quadratics. And notice how I, ha I handle them by picking up the numbers on the number line. And don't forget, when you have fractions, you cannot have the denominator zero, so those values have to be excluded. So, if you like my video, click on the like button. If you're not a subscriber and you want to subscribe, click on the subscribe button. Visit my math website, www.mathfullyexplained.com to find more information about me, my videos, and the content. That's the content that I have on my YouTube channel called Math Fully Explained. Thank you for viewing my video. Hope the video has some help to you. Bye-bye.